What up, Pro Guides family? I'm Matt, and I'm here to bring you through another Fortnite update. Fort Nightmares is over. The ghosts are gone and battle royales are finally back to normal. So with that in mind, let's go over everything that's changed in today's 14.50 update. Now as per usual with these updates, we're going to go over everything that Epic Games have given to us in the patch notes, which as usual isn't really that much. First up is the return of the jetpack. Players are going to be able to fly around once again with a brand new and approved jetpack released by Stark Industries. At some point over the course of the next update, they'll be found throughout the island. A Poggies moment is on the way as Lachlan is joining the Icon series next. But before he is added to the item shop, there is a brand new tournament on the way first, a tournament with a twist. In the pickaxe frenzy, you can only attack enemies with your harvesting tool. It's gonna run from November 7th to November 8th and people with enough points will walk away with a chance to earn the Icon series set early. Next Gen is just around the corner. With the impending release of the new Xbox and PS5, version 14.50 serves to ready Fortnite for next generation hardware, which will feature faster loading times, dynamic visuals and physics, and a 4K resolution at 60fps. Finally, there is an XP extravaganza coming to the island this patch. New bonus challenges will be arriving that will put your skills to the test this week. So if you've got your eye on a shiny foil style, or you just want to finish your battle pass, you should complete these party-wide XP challenges to fight Galactus in mint condition. Ah oh, yeah, there's also the next Marvel Knockout Super Series, which is going to feature Ghost Rider this week. Now it doesn't look like much has changed on the Fortnite map this time around, all that's happened is the removal of all the witches shacks around the island, because Fortnite Mares is over now. Interestingly enough though, the ruins are still around, and it seems that that's where Galactus is barreling toward, if the table in the menu is anything to go by. Shadow Midas and his ghoulish goons however have disappeared from the location. So as you already know, in the last update, Epic Games changed how they compressed their files. That meant leakers couldn't really leak skins in the same way as they usually would, and everything was super weird for that update. Epic probably thought they'd got the best of the leakers and they wouldn't be able to get to the skins anymore. But that's not quite how it went. So here are all the new leaks from the files. First of all, we've got all the new skins. There's Powerhouse, Slumberjack, Dozer, Sergeant Snooze, Nappin Cappin, Cloud Striker, The Joker, Poison Ivy, Indigo Kuno, and finally Midas Rex. There's also a new Deadfire variant, showing that he's joined up on the ghost side of things as well as a new Rage variant for Ruckus and a Manic variant for Mayhem. Oh, but there is more skins than that. I thought they deserved mentioning all on their own, because it's basically the return of all the Chapter 1 defaults. You'll be able to buy these defaults as a skin pack. There's Headhunter Prime, Wildstreak 1, Vanguard Banshee, Rookie Spitfire, Original Renegade, Hawk Classic, Vintage Ramirez, and, of course, Jonesy the First. Next up is the back blings. There's the Shakes to Go, Batty Blanket, Power Pack, Constructor Classic, Deep Elevation, Laugh Riot, Back Bloom, Indigo Karma, and the Midas Crest. There's also a new ghost variant for the Shackled Stone to go along with Deadfire. Next up is the Gliders. We've got the OG and Well actually no, that's that's it. Just the OG. On to the harvesting tools next. There's the Tater Pounders, Stuffy Smasher, Throwback Axe, Nightbite, and of course a new Spectre Shard Ghost variant. Finally, we've got the new weapon wraps. There's the bars, chipset, hollow foil, and cityscape. Of course, that's not all the data miners have managed to grab from the files this time around. The end of the season is coming up fast, and that means the event is coming up fast too. There was no event at the end of the last season, but it looks like Epic is planning to make this one the biggest yet. The first event leak are new meshes for Galactus himself. This means that Galactus is no longer going to just be an image in the sky and will draw close enough over the course of the update to actually be seen as a model. Also, these meshes are hilarious. Just look at his face all stretched out like that. 
There's also some stuff to do with the upcoming countdown. There are now countdown textures in the files, meaning this Galactus event really should be right around the corner. A second bus upgrade has also been added to the files, meaning that Tony Stark's plan, whatever that may be, is also nearing completion. It seems like it's going to be activated on November the 7th. There's a whole bunch of other event leaks in the files too, but most leakers don't seem to want to do anything with them right now because they don't want to spoil the upcoming event. And honestly, I kind of have to agree. As for leaks that aren't related to skins or the event, it looks like Fortnite and Disney Plus are doing a bit of a team up. From when the promotion begins until December 31st, 2020, if you purchase V-Bucks or make any other real money purchase in the item shop, you can get up to two months of Disney Plus for free. So, unless there's something you really want in the daily shop, I'd hold on to your V-Bucks for now and wait for that promotion to begin. There's also been a new music leak. It's called Boss Battle, and oh my goodness, is this just a meme or what? <laughs> There was also a leak of the new Lachlan Icon skin. Epic did an oopsie and left it in the files as an MP4 for literally anyone to find and play without having to do any work at all. Which is the opposite of a Poggy's moment. We're not going to show the skin video out of respect for Lachlan. Rumor has it he's showing it off in a stream for the first time and we really don't want to take that away from him. As of writing this script, Epic Games still hasn't pushed out an update for PS4 players. We're not sure what's going on there. They can still play 14.40, but an issue has apparently pushed the update back a bit. Hopefully you PS4 players will get the update soon enough. This update, let's face it, is a little bit lackluster. That's because it's basically just a big old preparation update, both for the event and for next gen. Hopefully the last update of the season will be just a little bit cooler. Either way, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.